welcome back to the channel daughter of increase my name is Nate Denise for those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video and I am the founder and CEO of daughter of increase ministries that is DOI ministries and here on this channel I help you guys to increase in your faith and relationship with God in Christ through Bible studies book reviews discussions and more and I do that by posting twice a week every Wednesday and Saturday and occasionally on Tuesdays and so this video is a start of a new reading blog and the start of Sort of Love. And um yeah, I just want to say I am loving my grandmother's apartment. So if you didn't watch the last reading blog, which was um my semi reread reading blog of In Search of a Prince, just click the eye to go to that video. But I am down south in my grandmother's house and I am loving her um well not her house she didn't move she did have a house before she moved into a two-bedroom apartment which i really love i'm currently staying in the guest room with my son and my nephew um and i love the lighting in my grandmother's apartment amazing i'm literally sitting in front of these two big windows in the guest room and all of the windows in her apartment really gives you so much light like this is like i'm in my dream apartment not gonna lie i want a house but if I have to get like an apartment, this is the type of apartment that I would like. It's very big, it's very spacious. Um, but you know, that's what you get down south. I don't know what I'm gonna get in Jersey, but you know, yeah. But this is a reading vlog for Good Old Three by Mr. Ted Pepper. So this is kind of a reread reading vlog for me. I'm gonna try to make it a little better than my reading vlog I did for In Search of a Prince because that was also a reread. But I bought a bunch of books down here that I already read. So um, I wanted to reread them with you guys on camera to give you guys like, um, I guess my thoughts while reading. It's not gonna be like my initial thoughts because obviously these are rereads and they, are, they were all five star reads. Um, this is just, <laughs> chef's kiss it will frustrate you at the end because thoughts and feelings um but yeah i am going to reread this and so i'll just give you guys um what it says on the back give you guys my initial thoughts when i first read it and then we'll dive right in so i really do want to finish this in a day we'll see today is thursday um i read monday and tuesday i didn't read on wednesday if you guys watched the end of that reading vlog from last the previous reading vlog you know why um i'm actually about to snack on a cigar bar and it's early in the morning it is what it is. Like I said, watch that last reading vlog to figure out why I'm eating a Snicker bar this early in the morning. But, and if I didn't say it's 9 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, on the back it says, three. By all accounts, Kevin Parsons is leading a virtuous life. But like all people, Kevin has his secrets and someone wants them revealed. While driving home from graduate school, Kevin receives a call from a deluded stranger who calls himself Slater. Slater demands that Kevin confesses his sin in the next three minutes or the car he's driving will be blown to pieces. With a threat, he offers a riddle. What falls but never breaks, what breaks but never falls. Thus starts a harrowing chain of threats with progressively higher stakes. Another riddle, another three minutes, confess your sin, Kevin. But the problem is, Kevin has no idea what sin, and Slater's cycle won't stop until he's dead. Now only Samantha, the woman he once loved more than life itself, can help him uncover the secrets of a mysterious past, but Samantha may soon be dead as well. So this is, com is, is, is basically categorized as like a Christian thriller, mystery, suspense, horror. I don't know why. The cover gives definitely horror vibes, but I will say that this did not give me like full blown horror. Um, definitely those thriller suspense. It literally says a perfect blend of suspense, mystery, and horror. I don't get much horror from it, um, but the suspense and the mystery, definitely top tier. Um, so yeah, when I initially read this, I loved it, right? I loved it all the way to the end when the big reveals happened. There were two big reveals that happened that kind of like OMG me, and, um, I wasn't expecting it. It was so bad that I threw this book after I read it. Um, I don't recall if I did record. Oh, is that a ladybug? Oh, there's a ladybug outside my grandmother's window. Y'all, I'm so weird. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so if I did a reading vlog, I'll post about it. I don't think I did a reading vlog for this. I think I did a reading vlog for Skin by Ted Decker, which was just out of this world. But um, yeah, I am excited to dive back into this. I am going to listen to the audiobook. Um, there probably won't be that many montages just because, like I said, I'm on vacation. I'm enjoying my vacation um, and I'm enjoying this time with my family. I know my aunt and my cousins are supposed to come. My dad is going to be coming 
tomorrow and i'm supposed to be seeing one of my uncles and my other aunt as well before i leave we leave saturday morning at 10 54 so 11 o'clock in the morning we leave um and i'll get back late to jersey but um yeah i'm sorry guys i'm just looking out to be like it's literally nothing across the street from my grandmother's place except a high school and then a daycare center but it's just like open grass like if i wanted to i could literally go across the street and have a picnic just randomly like i'm not really a southern girl i, I love the city but i love the peace and serenity and the nature vibes here if that makes sense but um yeah i'm going to read this um and i'm excited i'm gonna go now because i hear my nephew whining i think he wants to get out the car seat possibly so i'm gonna go and get some reading done um i don't like i said i bought these books i don't have bookmarks with me i don't really have much of anything and so i'm just gonna read how many pages is in this book this book has a total of 400 pages just about 398 pages so 400 pages um so i guess i'll read to chapter 10 let me see how many chapters are there there's 30 chapters so yeah every 10 chapters i'll come and give you guys my thoughts um so yeah the first 10 oh the first 10 chapters are going to it's going to be 142 pages um so 142 will be the end of chapter 10 and 143 is the beginning of chapter 11 so i'm gonna read about 10 chapters no i'm gonna do this how i traditionally do it. we're gonna try to do this a little better than i did the last reading vlog i'm going to read two chapters on camera two chapters yes we'll read the first two chapters on camera um which is about 22 pages yeah i'll do the first two chapters on camera 22 pages give you guys my initial secondary thoughts because it's not my like initial thoughts but um give you guys my thoughts and go off camera read the chapter 10 come back with some thoughts um i did find out that there's actually a movie for this which i did not know i don't know i think i looked it up and it popped up on youtube so i do have it saved and i am going to watch it so that's why i want to kind of finish this in a day um and the audiobook i'm listening to the audiobook through hoopla which is connected to my library card um so i have two library cards um new jersey and new york obviously so yeah um i'm going to listen to this um and then watch the movie and i probably will do like a book slash movie review i might do that so i'm gonna go and you guys can watch me kind of montage reading at the kitchen table So I read to page 22. That was the first two chapters you saw me on camera doing that. And um, I had a little bit of hiccup with the audiobook for some reason. So there are two versions of the audiobook available um, on Audible, not Audible, on um, what is it called? Hoopla, as well as um, Scribd. There is a 10 hour version and then there is like a four hour version. However, neither version coincides with my copy of the book so the four hour version is the abridged version and then there is the 10 hour version which is the unabridged however the copy that i have is like missing sentences so i'm thoroughly confused i was gonna try to listen to the audiobook um i am going to check on 
audible and see if there's a different audiobook because there's just missing sentences in my book um and in the audiobook i'm listening to and they also switch around some of the sentences the sentence pla placement when listening to the audiobook so i'm just going to read this regularly because the audiobooks that i found are not working so if you guys hear that my grandmother's back she's gonna cook for us but um yeah so the first two chapters you basically see kevin um he's in school asking his professor some interesting questions at this point in time um he is trying well he's in, in seminary school to become a priest and he asks us some very interesting questions that make you a little skeptical about his character right okay but then he gets into his car he gets the phone call from slater and you know then his car is blown up <laughs> pretty much um that's not a spoiler it tells you on the back what happens and it literally happens in the first chapter so um yeah my initial secondary my secondary initial thoughts um kevin is a little weird he's a little weird um i always thought he was a little weird but i never really pinpointed why he was weird i mean now that i read the book i know why and so when i'm rereading this i'm pretty much looking for those telltale signs that will reveal the ending because i know what the ending is so i i see a few things right um you know his teacher well i don't even think it's his teacher i think the narrator is like letting us know that he's 28 years old but he has this like strange blend of brilliance and he also has that five-year-old thirst for knowledge um they talk about how he had a bizarre upbringing um you know and and kevin doesn't want anybody looking up his past so that's what i have so far so like i said i'm going to read up to chapter 10 um physically clearly because i clearly can't listen to the audiobook again i'm going to try audible and see i don't have an audible account i canceled my audible account i had quite a few audible accounts because i have so many emails um but yeah i'm gonna see if there's a different copy of this if there is a different copy of this um in audiobook form i'm sorry guys i'm just like looking outside talking but if there is a different copy of this in audiobook form i will leave the actual link for this mass market that i have down below but um yeah i'm excited to finish this and get into the movie i will also be binge watching the last four episodes of um extraordinary attorney rule on netflix so yeah that is basically the plan today read this watch the movie and also binge watch the last four episodes of the extraordinary attorney rule and um yeah that's pretty much it so i'm gonna go back get some reading done and i'll come back i probably will talk after i get to like chapter 10 on the balcony because it's pretty nice and i don't think well the plan was for us to go back to walmart today is that gonna happen don't know we're seeing um my sister and i are waiting to see if that is going to be possible if not we'll go to walmart tomorrow when my brother gets here and um yeah so i'm gonna go get some reading done and um enjoy the rest of my vacation i'll be back hey guys so um as you can see it's a different day it is currently saturday morning about 1 30 almost two o'clock maybe a.m um i'm actually leaving today um my train leaves at 10 54 we're leaving here at nine o'clock so am i gonna go to sleep who knows but i'm back um chapter 15 so i read 15 chapters clearly because i didn't come to share guys with bleh, i didn't come to share with you guys um the 10 chapters that i said i was gonna read so i did half of the chapters there's 30 chapters in this book so i read 15 and so um as you guys can see i did tab i am tabbing along and you can see quite a few navy blue tabs because i am picking up a few more things with this book um as far as uh the big reveal towards the end so there are some things i am noticing the second time i'm reading that are kind of connecting the dots a little but not as much so i will say ted decker did a phenomenal job with um the two reveals in this book so far i mean halfway through and um there are a few things but i only noticed those because again i read the book so i think through the first time reading this um you're definitely going to be shocked with the big reveal um but yeah we have met kevin we have met samantha we've also met the fbi agent um jennifer who is closely tied to the situation with slater and um it is very interesting it is intriguing it is drama um there are a lot of weird things going on but i am still enjoying it um it's still being it's, it's still as exciting as the first time i read it and um yeah halfway through the book and so i will probably finish it on the train because i'm actually in the middle 
I'm actually in the process of packing. So I'm washing up the last load of laundry. Um, let me show you this quickly. All the suitcases. So this is my suitcase, and my suitcase had my clothes on that side, and my son's and nephew's clothes on that side. That is my nephew's uh, diaper bag, my son's suitcase with all his toys that he recently bought. Um, this Walmart bag has snacks, and then that stuff over there is my sister's. Um, but yeah, and then I have this bag which had like my switch and my books and stuff like that. And so my son is currently sleeping on the bed. He's sleeping. Um, my nephew is for some reason still up. I don't know why he's still up, so I'm probably not gonna sleep. I'm, I'm probably not because he's wide awake. He's wide awake, y'all. I gave his boy a bottle. He wide awake, and the laundry is still going for another 45 minutes because the first, the the second load for some reason when I put it in the dryer, it didn't dry all the way, so they put it in for another 30 minutes. Y'all pray for me. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm, I'm tired. Okay, I'm tired. But it has been a wonderful vacation thus far, and I'm sad to be leaving. Honestly. Um, I wish we could actually stay another week. I've been enjoying this time, but um, yeah, I'll update you guys when I get on the train with um, my final thoughts on the book. Um, my final thoughts on the book, and I just I cannot wait to get to the big reveal to see how much information Ted kind of gives you before you get there. But um, I apologize if you guys hear my grandmother. My grandmother is talking with my little sister right now. We were talking about some stuff. Um, it is a nice last night, so you know we're just bonding. Um, my grandmother did give me some jewelry she also gave my sister some jewelry and so i'll share that with you guys so maybe when i get home but um yeah i'm gonna go and i'll catch you guys shortly hey guys so it is currently september 1st um it's been a, a couple days since i last made that part of um the video for three and where's my copy of the book it's right here um i'm still only at chapter 15 so i haven't read chapter 16 as of yet and um i'm going to finish up this vlog so time skip hi um i look a little crazy because i just washed my hair out from having that stuff in my head for maybe about almost two weeks and um i feel like i pulled a lot of my hair out which is why i don't personally wash my hair i prefer to go to the hair salon and let them wash my hair um because i feel like when i do it i don't part i just don't like it and so I feel like I, I pulled out a lot of hair. I always feel this way because hair comes out. And I know the hair should come out your hair when you wash it. But when I see it come out, it just, it's like clumps and it, it bothers me. So I'm going to attempt to do something with this head right now. Most likely um, oil it up and then throw it into braids. Um, but yeah, here's my hair. I feel like there is like a bunch of hair missing. All of this up here is like you can tell this is all new growth up top and then this is not because this part is like slicker than up here and so yeah i did comb through it in the shower with the shower comb still got stragglers falling out but um i am going to do my hair as best as i can right now because you know I can't really I don't do hair hair is not my thing like I can do skin I can do nails I used to do my own acrylics I can do makeup hair that's a no-go for me like I, I I can't look at this I just I pulled out a clump right here <sighs> seeing my hair come out is like really bothersome I know it's normal but sometimes I feel like I'm like more hair than necessary is coming out of my head and so um I'm just gonna take out these bantus and try to do my hair the way it should be. Look, 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 look. Pieces. Oh. <sighs> and um, finish up this vlog. But I do want to come on here and say that I'm gonna have a video coming up on my singleness and how I've been feeling the past year of being single in the past two years of being celibate, abstinent, whatever you want to call it. Um. Because I've lately been struggling. Here is some of my hair. Like it's 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 not as bad right now, but it was coming out crazy. And maybe because my hair was wet and it looked like it was a lot. I don't know. But yeah, I'm gonna have a video discussion on that soon. As you guys know, I started doing the coffee time with May, and so that definitely will be one of the videos I do. Um, a discussion and a transparent video on like how I'm feeling, how I've been dealing with this. Oh my god, you guys. Look at this. That's a whole, like, strand, a few strands of hair. 
I'm never this I don't I don't put gel in my hair I don't put any of that crap in my head like I hate it I hate it so much and so I had to do it for that and I had it in from the time of the wedding which was the 20th so this is what I have to deal with now but um yeah I'm gonna have a discussion on that maybe tomorrow I'll record that if I'm up to it but I definitely want to do a discussion on um my singleness and how I've been dealing with it because I'm, I'm gonna be real with y'all it's it has been pretty good thus far obviously because I've stayed focused on the Lord but I noticed that the enemy definitely tries to trip me up especially with things that have happened um yeah I'm not gonna give like tea in that video I'm just gonna explain you know how I've been feeling what's been going on and how I've been dealing with things because it is a real thing um and it was never this bad but it's extremely bad because obviously I was engaged to be married and so it is like completely different ball game um different set of emotions that come and go but yeah I'm gonna go fix something up with my hair and then get dressed again because my mom and I they go to BJ's obviously I went to BJ's so I got more coffee <laughs> but we got to go to Walmart later <laughs> Um, and we're doing a lot of, like, shopping back at BJ's Walmart shop right now that because school is on Tuesday and we want to make sure there's enough in the house for the kids because my sibling, my sister and my son do take their own lunch to school. And so, um, there are some snacks and stuff that I need to pick up for my son, some things my sister wants for breakfast, and I'm going to get back into doing my smoothies and stuff in the morning. And so, yeah, I'm going to go. Um, and when I come back, I will start reading three um you know it's 30 chapters in here i read up to chapter 16 so i figured if i read up to chapter 20 no I'll, I'll read up to like 21 or something like that and then come back and give you guys some thoughts 21 or 22 we'll see how i feel because i still want to watch the movie i do have the movie um on it youtube it should be linked down below for you guys to check out i do want to watch that movie for sure i actually might just watch it on the app that i use on my phone um for android users is an app where i can just watch movies for free um but yeah i'm going to um braid this and plait because we do have a prayer service tomorrow at church um and so yeah it's thursday that i'm making this and i need to get things going um so yeah i'm gonna do this here and then come back when um i get some reading done So I read to ooh. I'm sorry y'all. I read the chapter 23. Tabs are in and yeah, so chapter 22 is really where like the big reveal happens. There is a reveal that happens prior to that, but it's kind of taken as a joke. Um but chapter 22 is like where one of the big reveals is it takes place and um I almost forgot so um i read up to page 305 yeah 305 um 23 chapter 23 and then i gotta read up to chapter 30 so um not that many chapters left to go i am really tired i don't know why i just got hit with the tiredness and so i'm not going to walmart till about eight o'clock it's 5 45 right now um i'm 70 percent 76 percent through on the audiobook i did start watching the movie i watched maybe like five ten minutes of it um yeah we'll see how i feel about it 
But what I'm about to do right now is I was going to clean up my room a bit, but I am tired. And so I'm just going to move all the books out of the way and take me a quick nap because I'm exhausted. So, um, yeah, I'm going to finish the book tonight. My son was going to come back tonight, but he's going to stay at his t at his father's until um, Saturday. So I'm going to finish this book tonight and watch the movie tonight. I am going to watch the movie on double time speed and I will um, probably insert the movie, like clips of the movie as I'm watching it in this vlog as well and do like a full-blown reading vlog slash movie thoughts um in one video no i'll make it two separate videos so once i end this reading vlog then i'll introduce for the new vlog of me watching the movie but um i'm gonna go take a nap i'm exhausted i took i took i did take that shower too so i took a shower i was messing with my hair for maybe like an hour two hours and now i'm tired so i'm gonna go take a nap Oh. Whew. Oh, before I go, I got two of the Starbucks boxes of the Nespresso pods. Original, right? These are the original. Okay. So it comes with the Espresso Rose, the Blonde, or I say Blonde. I just feel like Blonde just sounds so much better than Blonde, but whatever. Um, Blonde, it comes with the Columbia and also the Pike Place, which y'all know I love me some Pike Place. So I have Pike Place, I have the Blonde, I have, it's 20 um, capsules of espresso, 20 Blondes, 10 Columbias, and 10 Pike Places. And um, let me see if I can get this open. This was about 40 bucks at, um, what you call it? So I got to just trying to open it. It was $40 at BJ's, which... It's insane, absolutely insane. So I'm probably gonna stick to ordering from Nespresso, because Nespresso is like seven or eight dollars per box um, for ten capsules. So yeah, but um, here it is. You got your two espressos, your two blondes, and then your Columbia and your white place. So I have two boxes of those, because I'm pretty sure the blonde is gonna go quickly. My mom and I really like that one. That's a new flavor for us. And so I'm probably going to try um, a blonde latte from Starbucks. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to take a nap. I'm going to take a nap. So I'll come back in maybe a couple of hours. Maybe after I get back from Walmart, I'll come back. Um, or before, we'll see when I wake up. But I'll be back. Hey, guys. Uh, so I'm back in the house. Um, it is currently 9.47 p.m. And um, I am going to finish up reading three. Um... I don't have that many chapters like I said I'm on chapter 23 so I'm just going to read up to 30 76 percent of the way through in the audiobook so I'm going to do that um just went to Walmart got a couple more things and of course got some more coffee stuff <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys but you'll see that this stuff as well again in my next haul but um the first thing I got is some ground nutmeg for toppings I got another pumpkin pie spice then I saw this one this is the Senada seasoning blend um it's cinnamon toast crunch basically i think crushed up it's great for toast cookies ice creams and more i'm thinking of popping this on top of um like waffles as well as um my pancakes and also my coffees so we have that um bought some sauces from tarani the white chocolate sauce that i love um this is the pre-made sauce and then i have the white chocolate premium sauce i'm not really sure what the difference is I guess this one is specifically designed for coffees because you can see it so you have that one then i did find the sea salt caramel one as well so i have the regular caramel one that i already bought and then i have this one um then i got some extracts extracts excuse me um so i got two of the pure vanilla ones a large and a small one i'm gonna keep the large one for myself the small one for my family um then i got strawberry and also maple i am actually going to get the one that is cake batter soon in the almond one because i can throw those in my coffees and lattes and stuff like that as well um i did get the classic caramel syrup um i think the one that i got is the salted caramel so i just got the classic one to have it and then obviously two more coffees i got the pete's espresso and the crema sucre crema sucre um i wanted to try this one this one says full body earthy earthy nutty notes balanced by a creamy enduring 
finish and so you can have this as a espresso or ristretto I think I don't know but we have that one it's the right one and then I got the donut shop um coffees one step latte it's the vanilla latte so I got that and this one is for the k-cup this is a k-cup k k pods k-cups whatever you call it and so yeah I'm going to currently fix my ends because my ends are looking a little straggly. So I'm just going to pop some of this um, As I Am Classic Coconut Co-Wash on the ends of my hair. Curl them up and then put my hair probably up in a bun. Um, and yeah. Then just get to reading. Um, for dinner, I am going to have one of my favorite soups. So this is the Nangshan bowl noodle soup it's savory beef i love this soup guys so much i'm gonna eat this for dinner i'm currently sipping on a ginger ale lemonade and um yeah once i finish reading it's 9 50 so almost 10 o'clock so i should be done by 11 and then i can watch the movie i can't remember how long the movie is but when i start my video for the movie you'll know but um yeah i'm looking forward to finishing this up again this is still a solid five for me um i am picking up on a lot more of the hints concerning the big reveals as you can see a lot of that dark blue well in this case it looks dark purple but there's a lot of like that dark purple because i'm picking up a lot more on the hints that are um coming about and like i said chapter 22 ended with one of the big reveals which yes but we haven't gotten to the other reveal and i'm excited to see um how that plays out again and so yeah i'm going to quickly fix my hair up get my dinner situation together and then come back to you guys Okay guys, so I finished rereading my copy of three, tabbed it up, and oh my god, I forgot how crazy the ending of this was, and how cute it was, and how sad it was. It, it just gives all the emotions. Um, this book will mess with your mind. It will mess with your mind. Even upon my reread and still finding like a few things that were like signs of the, big, the, the two big reveals. I feel like on your first read, you wouldn't really pick up on those. So I think Ted Decker did such a phenomenal job with this novel. Five stars on my second reread. Um, still had issues with the audiobook because it was like skipping words and changing sentences. I don't know. But um, yeah, I love Kevin Parsons. He is amazing. I love Jennifer, um, the FBI agent. She is phenomenal. I enjoyed Samantha and I enjoyed Slater. Slater is evil, twisted man, of course, and I also enjoyed his, uh, Kevin's teacher, Dr. Francis, and, um, yeah, it's just so, so good. This book really, uh, focuses on good and evil in the nature of man, and, um, it does it in such a profound, interesting way. Um, this is a little twisty. Obviously, it involves a serial killer, it involves uh, animal abuse. It involves blowing things up, you know. Um, but I think this is a really good book. It's not heavy on the faith as I would like. But considering the topic of good and evil. Considering that Kevin Parsons is in seminary school. Um, and also his upbringing. 
it all makes sense and i love that dr francis his teacher is involved because he he's like the main person that brings forth the faith aspects there are bits and pieces of prayer but i really don't i mean prayer is prayer but considering the story when you get to understand the characters it's like mm, really so i think if you're looking for a twisty novel with a lot of crazy mystery thrills and suspense um i don't really classify this as horror the cover is the only thing horrific about this honestly just the cover itself i don't even know what the heck horror is classified as i should probably look that up right let's look up horror um so if you guys hear that sound in the back that is the sound of my from the bathroom i need to go and fix the toilet it is running um oh definition i want to put horror definition because i really want to understand what the definition of horror is because uh okay so it says an intent so according to oxford languages dictionary it is an intense feeling of fear shock or disgust i don't really consider shock and disgust as horror i i, I consider that like thriller type of feelings but if it's classified as like shock or disgust, then yeah, I would say the shock factor and disgust fear. I don't fear anything from this, so that's what I think of with horror. But um, yeah, this will have you on your toes. It will have you double thinking and triple thinking of your things. Um, it is a quick and easy read. I could have read this quickly, but obviously life is a little crazy. But um, yeah, five stars still for me. I love it. Um, if you want to just listen to the audiobook, I say the audiobook is really really great. Um, I listened to the 10 hour unabridged version of it so you guys can check that out there is a shorter version if you want to check it out which is like four or five hours but um, I liked the entire story itself um, and so yeah I still will give this a five stars I love that I still couldn't really pick up on a lot of details concerning the two big reveals in the story though like I said you can see the, the dark blue dark darkish purple like post-it note I mean post-it tabs but um even with those it's still like uh, you really would have to be like grasping to understand but because i knew the reveals it made sense so overall love this so much and i can't wait to watch the movie um i did mention that i did start watching the movie uh, i watched about 10 15 minutes of it probably i wasn't it, it wasn't giving so i had stopped it but i do want to record myself watching it and so what i'm going to do is um we're, we're done with this right we're done with this and so i'm going to actually start a new blog of me watching the movie um i already have a few things that i'm going to note as far as differences because i feel like this was giving more suburb vibes whereas the movie was giving me more city vibes right so like where in this kevin drives to like this open air like a parking lot i think it was a walmart or something like that some parking lot in the movie he didn't drive to a parking lot he drove to like the side of an alley of a building so i'm interested to see how the city aspect is going to be very different from this suburb as aspect um and they do at the beginning i will say at the beginning of the movie they do give a snippet of what had happened to jennifer's brother um something took place with jennifer's brother in this book that does relate back to um slater and stuff like that i can't give them more de details on that but they do kind of show that in the movie which i thought was interesting because we talk we get talk of it in the book but the movie actually like shows it and so i thought that was interesting so i will have my thoughts on the movie if you want to see that just uh if it's up click the eye i probably will post these on the same day or the same week who knows but if it's not um i'll link it in the cards when i do post that video but um yeah i'm gonna go if you made it to the end of this video um post this emoji again i, I don't know what it is right now I, I don't know whatever this emoji is post that emoji and um yeah i will see you all in the next video